Hey everyone, it's me here, Kimball here with a video and I have not made a video in a very long time and I had not planned on making a video today, but um, something came up that needs to be shown to you and discussed briefly. The reason I haven't been making videos is because I've got to make a living. I'm here in my Planet Whizbang headquarters, my mail order business, and the summertime is my busy time. So it's hard to make videos. I will be back making videos, how-to videos, uh, tool talk, videos, things like that. But today I got up and as usual, I checked my phone and I went to Facebook to see what was going on there. And there I was, I saw this image that you're looking at right here, which is me. You'll notice that it has 1000 comments, 2.4 thousand shares and 1.2 million plays. This Facebook post with a video has gotten a lot of exposure and what it shows is me talking for like three minutes telling about a product and it's not me talking you know what i'm saying it's exactly my voice but i never said the words that are coming out of my mouth in that video it's an audio deep fake it's kind of uh unsettling to see yourself speaking so well that um, it's you it's me it's, but it's not me, it's my voice. It's been hijacked and copied and utilized to sell a product that I had no idea existed that I would never promote or try to uh, sell. They took the uh, YouTube video that I made a couple of years ago about how I used uh, comfrey to heal an eye wound, a scratch on my eye. Comfrey is an amazing herb, but they stole my identity basically. They stole my identity. So I'm going to stop talking here pretty quick and show you the video. And I'm sure you do not want to watch the whole thing, but I'm going to put the whole thing on here and just watch enough of it to see that it's my voice, but it's not me, you know, talking. It's not me talking. I want you to see this and I want you to realize that whatever you hear or see on the uh, the internet or television or whatever uh, visual uh, audio medium out there, you need to question it. You need to question everything. If you're sitting in front of me and I'm telling it to you, well, then you know it came from me. But otherwise, gee whiz, this is a wild and weird world that we're into now. So it's always been the case that we should question things like government, you know, all the way back to the founders. Don't trust government, question everything government does, be suspicious of government. Well, I'm on board with that and probably you are too, or if you're not, you should be. But now we have to question everything that we hear and be uh, suspicious of everything. I'll play the video now, give it a listen enough to see that this is uh, a strange reality or not reality that we're we're into here and i welcome your comments on this uh, subject thank you very much here's the video it's a remarkable herb because it has a growth stimulant in it it's got a growth stimulant it's anti-inflammatory so it gets the inflammation down and it's a lubricant so it's excellent on bones we had a lady and i'll make this story very short she broke her leg, she broke her tibia and her fibula, and she had a crushed knee. And uh, we knew it was broken because when we found her, she'd fallen off a bike. She's 56. Uh, the bone was not sticking through the skin, but it was poking up like a tent. Um, anyway, we had a guy there that knew bones, and he said, hold on, Katie. And he realigned it. The ambulance came, took her away. Anyway, she was in hospital three weeks and they would not operate. They were gonna do pins and plates on her because her leg was so swollen and her husband was getting frustrated with this. So he brought her home and we brought her into my lounge room and it was the winter. So we graded up the comfrey root every night. Every night we graded up the comfrey root. We made a poultice, you grade up the root and it goes like chewing gum. You see, it's got this lubricant in it and uh, we'd make a poultice like I showed you the other day and then I'd pour a little bit of boiling water on it to soften it a bit and warm it and put it on the leg. And I'd put it around the knee and also where the break was in the tibia and the fibula. And we would pray over it. We'd say, Father in heaven, we don't know what we're doing here, but you do. Uh, do you know that lady totally healed? 
Uh, it was incredible. She did not get out of bed for, I think it was five weeks. And we kept it straight, but every night we'd put the comfrey poultice on it. And then after six weeks, she started to walk with crutches. And then I think it was another two weeks. And uh, she started gingerly walk with a walking frame. And it was probably about three months and she was running. Now, they told her she'd probably never walk properly again because it was such a serious break. Now, that was probably the most serious thing that we have ever done. And the doctor, when she went back to the doctor, he said it must have been broken. But there was an x-ray that showed it, and the bone was nearly through. Because it's unbelievable, isn't it? It isn't when you realize what Comfrey does. Remember the three things? It has a growth stimulant. So whether it be bone or tissue or tendon or ligament or skin, growth stimulant, it's a lubricant, excellent for joints. And it also reduces the inflammation. So I told you that if I was gonna talk about Comfrey, I'd need a bit of time. It's a remarkable, remarkable herb. So we pick the leaves in the spring and the summer and I dry them till they're totally dried out in a warm oven. And then I pound them up to a powder and I do that three times. So I've got 50 leaves. So in my jar, I've got 150 leaves. They come down to a fine powder. The jar's this big, I fill it a third full, then I fill it with olive oil and I shake it and I let it sit for two months. And after two months, I strain it into a double saucepan and then I warm beeswax. I mix them together and pour it into jars. And you can ring Misty Mountain Health Retreat and get a jar of comfrey cream. It's dark green.